Hey YouTube, you can do a little mock showcase here. This one is called Welcome to the Creek. It's a uh, Helldivers 2 inspired creation and uh, consists of two little vignettes here. One of our Helldiver and uh, one of a Rocket Devastator on the Automaton faction uh, with a little terminal off to the side. Uh, let's take a look at the Helldiver first. So the base uh, light, sorry, dark bluish gray with some dark green um, vegetation. And we've got the little kind of exploding mushroom onion uh, things that you see in the game here next to our Helldiver. If we take this guy off and take a closer look, um, this is all official. So it's just official parts. The only kind of exception to that is that I did use official Lego stickers and an X-Acto knife um, and cut up some, some sticker sheets to add some extra yellow details onto the armor. But, um, as well as the cape. So the cape is from an Overwatch set uh, and the stickers are, are official. Uh, that skull sticker there comes from a uh, Ninjago Prime Empire set uh, where they, they would have kind of a section on the sticker sheet that was just extra stickers not used in the set and you could use them for whatever you want. So I found a little yellow skull there and that worked out great. Uh, we've kind of got that uh, Overwatch Tracer Blaster there in black uh, with the candlestick piece and, uh, and some extra bits there to make the weapon. We've got a uh, just a black head and your open-faced motorcycle helmet with the visor upside down, which I think gives a pretty good look. And that also fits that respirator piece in gunmetal gray. And then we've got the uh, kind of heavy armor piece as well that came with uh, several figures, uh, this one here in black. And then the Batman uh, kind of utility belt. One thing that I always kind of get a little annoyed with that's not even the right word i just notice it um with the utility belt is in my opinion there is a right way to put this on um, so it's got the little flaps on the pockets and it's got the belt buckle there let me just go ahead and take this thing apart so we can see it a little bit better and in my opinion the uh the flaps should be kind of going over the uh the pockets there i see a lot of people putting it upside down or just not you know they probably just don't notice uh, they probably would agree that, that the belt buckle, the square bit, instead of the three um, kind of, I don't know, rounds or, or um, utility pieces there. Those, in my opinion, go in the back and this is in the front. Um, I don't know. You may not have ever noticed that that is uh, asymmetrical in a couple of different directions and uh, that might add a little bit of detail. I certainly notice it anytime that I see a, uh, a mock using that utility belt. Um, and if I notice it, somebody else will too. All right, let's take a look at the Rocket Devastator here. I'm not 100% happy with this, especially the legs. Um, the Rocket Devastators have kind of a, you know, the kind of backwards knee uh, legs and um, just didn't have strong enough parts um, to really pull that off the way I wanted. Um, I could potentially use some, some ball joints and stuff and make that a little bit better, but... Um, uh, kind of ran out of time. This I built this last night, uh, or yesterday, I guess, for our um, local uh, Rochester LEGO users group meeting that we had last night. So I did want to get it done kind of in a rush. Um, but I think it turned out uh, okay. I, I really enjoyed using that, that headpiece. I think that works out great. Um, the only difference there would be if that uh, kind of flat silver piece, the, the kind of top bit of his face were white. I guess that would be more accurate. Um, as well as the rockets aren't actually red, but I tried it with the gray Baraki eyes and um, I just don't think it looks as good. It's not as distinct, so that looks a little bit more menacing. They're also probably slightly too big, um, but I'm okay with that too, that's fine. And there's the back, got a little bit of detailing around the back. There also are not a ton of photos out there um, since the game is so new. Um, for reference, maybe I should uh, take that on myself and and go get some reference photos for everybody to do their custom creations and dioramas and uh, and the memes. Um, but then we just got a simple terminal down here, um, some little buttons there, and then this is just on a big hinge brick. Let's see if I can pop this thing off. There we go. A couple of hinge pieces back here, and some uh, double cheese slopes to get that angle just right. We've got the little button panel inset on a headlight brick right there. Excellent. 
and some more of that terrain to kind of tie it all together. All right. We've got some new um, merch up on the uh, store. I've redone the entire store. Uh, so there are new products from a new distributor. Um, I, I did not like the previous distributor um, after ordering several of the products and, and testing them out. Um, I just wasn't happy with it. Um, so I've completely scrapped the previous distributor and gone with a new one that has honestly more products, uh, better quality. I've, I've ordered several things from them already and, uh, and I love it. And um, it also has uh, cheaper prices. So win, win, win. Uh, go check it out. I will be adding new stuff soon. Thanks.